Costume with Solutions 8 here with your daily Google News. And Google has done something that, in the words of Bob Odenkirk in his greatest cameo ever, is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, Google announced yesterday um, that they're updating their budget reporting. And uh, I'm a fan. I like what they're doing. They're trying to give us a sense as to what this spend is going to look like over time. And the reason that Google's doing this, just so you know, in case you're not already aware, is it has historically been difficult to track. Uh, sometimes because there are some ebbs and flows and, you know, changes, peaks and valleys and whatever other terms you can come up with for it. Um, so Google's trying to show you how your current spend is going to impact the month to come and how changes might impact um, the, the that data. And uh, the reporting uh, I like, it shows you your monthly spending limit, which is relatively new, if you'll remember. Uh, and then what you can expect and, and uh, you know, what has happened and then what's going to be expected uh, in the future. So uh, I'll include the news announcement in the description of the video. I'll also include the about document, um, which is uh, a little bit more descriptive as far as how to get to where you need to get. Um, and then I'll just show you. I'll just show you what it looks like. So um, let me show you how I got here. If you're looking at your campaigns, you can hover over the budget in any of the campaigns and then you can click on view budget report. And when you view your budget report, you'll notice that I'm recording this on October 1st. And so it's showing me uh, October is basically entirely uh, a prognostication at this moment. This dark gray line is going to show you my spending limit. And your, your hope is that you're able to achieve that spend limit over time. So if you notice that you, you aren't getting there, then you need to dig into why. And there's a bunch of reasons as to why. And they're all honestly pretty obvious. But it's really nice to have this, it's really nice to have this visualization. Um, the little... Blue dotted line shows us the forecasting within the, the margin of you know potential error and or adjustment based off of um, what Google's seeing. I would expect some campaigns to be, you know, ours is pretty linear because there's just so much traffic out there and it's really straightforward. But um, if you identify some tumult, I, I think that's okay. That's what this is for. And it's going to show you how to adjust accordingly. Let me go back. Well, actually, before I go back, uh, your daily spend down here is going to show you um, how much you've spent to, uh, compared to your daily spending limit. Um, and then Google is factoring their recommendations, of course, because why wouldn't they? Uh, good on them. But let's go backwards and you can start to see like, you know, here we made a budget change. And so Google's like, hey, just so you know, you dropping this and you can kind of see where the, the, the decline in the trend line happened because Google had to you know, adjust for it um, accordingly. So I, I like the visualization that's possible. The other thing that's cool that we've got another video on is um, Google has served costs. So you'll notice that we got uh, some free clicks here because there was a cost according to the limit that we've allowed Google. And then Google also gave us um, effectively free traffic because it, it, in this particular context, I imagine Google's like, hey, I think we're actually going to be able to perform. So we're going to overspend and eat it on our end. Um, in the, the hopes of improving the campaign. We don't get a ton of this in our account, but um, there's some clients that get a little bit more. But you can see all the budget changes that were made uh, and then you know the impact, and this is a new campaign there. So um, you can see the impact that those budget changes had on um, our, our budget moving forward. Uh, I like the visualization. I think that's really helpful. I think, honestly, it's going to be more helpful for clients because if you have a client that's like, why are we spending so much? Or why am I not meeting my daily budget? You can, you can kind of show them we're on track to, you know, you had some, you had, uh, we have some clients that watch things on a daily basis and that's fine. God bless you people. Uh, and I really mean that by the way, that, that I'd rather have a client be too attentive uh, versus not attentive enough or ghost us. Um, Cause they always show up six months later with a bunch of questions that, you know, would have been helpful to have contended with in real time. Uh, but for those clients that are very, very attentive, especially if you're an agency, this is a really good screen capture. And, um, you know, if you're not on track to spend their budget, that's also a really good thing to know early because we've all been there to where you've taken your eye off the ball. And, you know, there's only a couple of days left in the month and you're like, crap, I haven't spent the money and I haven't brought it up. Um, and, you know, we've got safeguards in place for that now. Uh, but e even so, it's this is just nice to happen in app uh, from Google without necessarily having to pay for monitoring software or any of those things. So... Check out your budget report. Um, I'm a fan. And uh, yeah, I like, I like data visualization because I'm not always able to, you know, take whatever is put off in a grid and, and, and see it. Um, John, my business partner, can do that. And it's frustrating to me. Um, I hope this was helpful. And um, oh, one thing that I want to mention is notice that your daily budget, uh, daily spending limit is 2x your daily budget. Uh, and that's another reason for this budget report is because Google's trying to show you, 
you know, if and when they they uh, overspend or you know kind of exceed that fifty percent mark, y you can kind of see the ebbs and flows there. Um, you know, like here they clearly went over, which is why we got the served cost versus actual cost. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all this stuff. Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know we actually know what we're doing. We shoot a video every single day. So if you want to be notified, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any input, don't hesitate to hit us up in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We get very little human interaction. Thanks for supporting our channel. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.